Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm on with a small online craft haul. I was getting very low on glue, um, just my wet glues. And so I was a bit stressed when we went into lockdown. So I thought I'd better jump online and grab a whole heap. And then of course we went out of lockdown really quick. But that's all right because I've been struggling to find the Helmars 450 that I usually use um, around the place. So I had to get that online. Anyway, so I'll show you what I managed to grab. Now, firstly, I went to my favourite haunt, which of course is Auntie Vera Scrap and Craft. Um, she's an evil craft enabler. She says so herself. And she's very good at it and I love it. So I went there and grabbed myself some art glitter glue, finally. So I've never used this stuff before. I must be one of the only people that haven't used this stuff before. But I do see people using it and putting such a fine bead around their pockets to put down. And they say that you can't see it if you make a mess with it. So I'm going to test that because I certainly make a mess with all my other glues. So I'm looking forward to giving that a go. And while I was there, I grabbed some more eyelets. Now, she's been getting a good few eyelets in all different colours and that lately, um, which we love using for our tags and our journals. Last time I went on, I couldn't get any of the warm ones because everyone else must have bought them out. And I was a bit sad about that. So while they were there, I grabbed myself some of the warm ones. Absolutely love the colours, so I might have to grab some more soon. So it looks like, I don't know whether it's a black... A bronze, a gold, and a... Oh, that would be copper, and that would be like bronze down here. So, and there's, yeah, six steel together, 15 of each colour. So, they're going to be great to use. I also grabbed the Tim Holtz Alterations Framelits um, to go with my stamps, because I have the stamps, and I thought, oh, that's all right. I'll, um, they're the entomology ones. I thought I'll just fussy cut them or whatever, but <laughs> I don't think I want to try fussy cutting them. I thought the dyes would be heaps handy, so I finally grabbed those. And then the lovely Auntie Vera gave me a little prezzy, so it's the Wandering IV Collectibles from Kay's Craft. And I love these because they're the pale greens and blues and whites, and I think they go beautifully together, so I might have to make a journal in those themes sometime. So I won't pull them all out, just because it will make a mess, but they're lovely. So yeah, that's awesome. They'll definitely get used. So the next place I went to online was um, Craft Online because they had my Helmaz 450. So I was very happy. So I should be right for glue for a couple of months now. And yeah, I really love this even more than the Helmars fabric glue. For some reason, this is a little different and it's my preferred one. But I do make a bit of a mess with it at times. So that's why I thought I'd try the art glitter glue on pockets and that occasionally. And, you know, keep this for the fabrics and heavier items. Because it seems to stick other stuff down really well, like buttons. I've even stuck shells down with it. So it's good stuff. And then, of course, I can't just grab glue while I'm at one of these places. So I grabbed myself a We Are Memories Keeper hole reinforcing punch. I assume they call it a punch or a cutter. You know, they call it a punch, but it's really weird the way they're making things now. Because it, I, I did one and I couldn't find it. It's still in there even at the back there. <laughs> it wouldn't come out. I'm like, Ooh. But then it started working all right for me. So I thought I'd grab this because I reckon it'd be great to punch your own reinforcements out of whatever paper you want to use and a great way of recycling some scrap papers as well. So you just put it in, press it down and then hope that it comes out. And there's my little hole reinforcement. Now the hole is quite big. It's bigger than the ones in my cropper dial which is slightly unfortunate. However, I'm pretty sure I've probably got a punch here somewhere of that size, so I'll just use that with these. It's no big deal, really. But yeah, great way of using up some paper scraps, and I thought if I want to reinforce some tea-dyed paper and use my tea-dyed paper to do it, um, or book page or whatever, then this will be great for that. 
good little recycling thing. And then the other thing I got, I don't know why I got this, it's probably easier just to do it with the scissors, but I got myself a Wear Memory Keepers washi chomper for your washi tape, so yes. So it's got this little board thing in it that you can slip in and out and you can stick your washi to that, push it in and then cut it. So you can cut like banners, like the one on here, or arrows. It's good for if you want to do planners um, and just journaling and that sort of thing. So I thought it'd be a bit of fun to try. So we'll pull our little board out. Grab some of my old cheapo washi here. And give it a quick go. So you can just cut it to what length you want. And you can use the little lines on here to try and get it straight, which is something I'm not good at. It look, I don't know whether it looks like my washi's already pulling off the little lines. I hope not. So I'll just put it like that. And then it's got this sort of triangle in under there. So if you put stuff near that point, it'll cut it for you. So if I slide this in to where that arrow piece is and then just press it down and then pull it out, which is getting a bit hard. And then if I pull this off, See, it comes off and it's cut that arrow in it for us. And then, look, you could even use these little bits. So there's the arrow bit. And then if you want to do the tail, I reckon it is pulling off the um, numbers, which is not good. I have to draw my own lines. All right, so if we want to do like the triangle tail in the bottom of it, just make sure I get it around the right way, you can put it in this end. Like that. And it will cut the triangle in that end for you. I could have probably put it in a bit further, but if I stick that down, you see I've got the little tail there and the triangle for the arrow. So, of course, if you cut that off, you've got your base of your banner. So, you can just do different things like that. So, which, as I said, is probably easy with your scissors even, but it's a bit of fun. And I don't necessarily want to use my scissors all the time on my washi because it's sticky stuff. So, it avoids that. But, yeah, I'd be a bit annoyed if it does pull off the um, lines. Looks like you can turn it over and use it too. So that's your We Are Memories Keepers washi chumper. So that is my small haul. So a few little goodies to have some fun with and my glue, which is the most important thing. So take care of yourselves, guys, and I hope you get some crafting done and I will see you soon. Bye.